but it, it was good. It was it's that straightforward storytelling where yeah, uh, you don't even really need to know how she made it through that fucking game. Just that she did, and you're like, oh, yep, okay, they're gonna bring this right back around, and it's gonna fuck this guy over. And when it does, it's gonna be great and rewarding, and everything's fine. And that's, oh, yeah, they, that's okay. The new obsession was like trying to avoid anybody being able to predict what your story is, and that's not a problem. In fact, sometimes that can mean you've set it up really well. Um, and it's a shame that that's seen as like a horribly bad thing. I, I don't know if you guys know, but like pretty sure there's another show that did this as well but westworld is a show that when people guessed the ending of season two i think on reddit they were like oh i've got to change it got to change it they guessed it it's like why mm. that's okay you're gonna be fine. no careful yeah, watchers but... should guess the foreshadowing should lead you to the conclusion typically in hindsight when you go back and you're like okay this is how yeah. this and this and this added up but it, when, when you've got millions of people watching someone's gonna figure it out ahead of time yeah, I think that, and that's, I guess, one of the problems that we have with social media and the internet now is like, you know, so many theories and so many people will throw out so many ideas about where a show is going. Inevitably, some of them are going to hit on the, like the truth. Uh, mm -hmm. And so it's going to be just almost impossible for writers to pull off something totally unexpected. It just it, you can't do it now. But like you said, Mahler, it doesn't need to be done. Like it, it's not always about being totally surprised by what happens it's about it being emotionally satisfying uh um, well, remember um consistent with what's happened before didn't D, D say like it would have been too obvious for Jon snow to kill the night king like yeah that oh. was the story that was the setup that's the whole yeah. point that by that rationale it'd be like well it'd be too obvious for frodo to get the ring to mount doom and destroy it <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't, does he? he tries to well, take okay. it. Well, okay. Griffin Smeagol just takes up. the ring and then dro drops it inside and then fucks off, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, geez, you need Griffin. to have fucking, I don't know, one of the random other hobbits from the Shire to turn up. That would have made it way better. I know, Mauler, clearly you're you're too big this, aid. We needed a this, diverse this, female hobbit to show. Exactly. Um, <laughs> yes. There's a difference thing. between being predictable and set up. They're two very different things. Absolutely. We needed Roto Jaggins. Like set up with the the the. Uh, Did you say ice, mofo? Ice queen mofo. <laughs> mofo lofo. Okay. Um, the whole thing was, you know, you were meant to go down that journey with them. You were you were meant to see the progression of Jon Snow to to fight him. Uh, so it it wouldn't have been like, oh, Jon's fighting the ice queen. It's like, right here we go. This is the culmination of the story. This specific line of story. Let's get to it. So it was ended up well, they like, screaming um, at a dragon. They stare each other down in season five. They stare down at yeah. each other, and it's yeah. like, you That's versus wrestling. me, man. Yeah. That's wrestling terminology, man. That's like, I'm going <laughs> to beat you at WrestleMania. You're going down. No, yeah. you're going you down. Go oh, <laughs> oh, my shit. God. Well, I, yeah, the, the, there's different genres that you can do that more effectively. If it was some you know, crazy convoluted thriller where it's all about, you know, suspense and, and, you know, unexpected revelations. Great. If it's some fucking like epic fantasy series, that's, that's not really the place to pull off these subversions of expectation and these just crazy twists that come out of nowhere. You know, that's not why we watch shows you know what, like Ringo, that. Fuck crazy twists that come out of nowhere just entirely. I hate them. Go away. Put them in yeah. a bin. Yep. And Shyamalan is, wants to know your location right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> DMing there's, me here. There's a name I haven't heard in a generation. <laughs> <laughs> That's a generation too soon still. He was just like, yeah, I mean, the, the sort of late 90s, early 2000s, he was on fire. But man, that, that kind of thing just burns itself out really quickly. Yeah. Yeah, well, and that that's the thing with uh yeah, with Game of Thrones, for example. That's that's the that's the murder porn we all want. We want to watch Jon Snow win. We want mm. to do that. It's it ties up Ned Stark fucking losing so horrendously at the end of the well, first hey, season. We, we saw him yell at a dragon, isn't that enough? Yeah. <laughs> he went, ah, yeah. At the dragon. Yeah. And the dragon that that really <laughs> really sold <laughs> his character, didn't it? As as this smart, capable commander. It's like, you know. I'm facing down a dragon. What am I going to do? I don't know. Fucking scream at it, I guess. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. It's like, he, it's like he read the script, so he knew that he'd be okay because, you know, she was going to stab. Aya was just going to 
flying on the wind. I oh, still I don't fucking understand where she flew in from because, like, she just she kind of teleport. appeared above the Night King. And as far as I know, there was nothing overlooking that place. There was no buildings or anything. They were kind of just out in the open. And it's like she just flies in out of the darkness. <laughs> You're a true subversion. <laughs> like someone catapulted her. When he grabbed her, broke her neck. That would have been yeah. an actual subversion. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was. Weird. I actually thought he was going to do that. Too bad. When he when he <laughs> grabbed her, I thought, oh no, she's going to get. And then she dropped the knife and stabbed him. I was like, hmm. I, I kind yeah, of thought... that was all of us. We were like, hmm. hmm. And then we when, when she dropped while. when she did that that whole like you know drop the knife and catch it with your other hand thing. I thought he was going to catch it first and then fucking stab her with it. And I was like, ah, oh, that would have been cool. That would have been cool, yeah. But nah, says to beat him because the writers can't think. <laughs> Drink his vision, else, grabs the knife, just stab, well, stab, 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 stab. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was um? Sorry, what was Tick Boy stabbing. called again? I I forget. I'm trying to get Game oh, of Thrones out of my head. Uh, Boo, sorry. Fuck! Why have you made me? Re... Why? Tickless. How did, how did I blank that too? I know exactly what you're Tickless. talking about. I know. Little finger. Well, Reek. No. no. His name. His, his name. Reek. Well, no, Reek. Reek but no, uh... not Rick on. It becomes oh, Reek. His name. Great choice. Theon. 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 Yeah. Theon. It's just like two two seconds earlier. You could have just let Theon live. But Dude, but no. I would have happily. Dickhead Bran in the fucking chairs, just like, hey Theon, fuck off and die. <laughs> I to give the kill to Theon for the for the Night King. That would have been way better. <clears throat> Theon oh, and yeah. Jon Snow fighting together against the Night King. How fucking cool would that have been? It, it, us been just good. spitballing ideas. Like we've come up with a better story than than D and D did. Way more narratively satisfying because you're like Theon betrayed the House Stark and destroyed them, and now he's like working for them again, trying to gain his like respect and honor back, working with the remaining son. I thought, well, get, you, I thought they were going to get annihilated in Winterfell. I really thought Winterfell was going to be an annihilation. I thought we were going to lose a ton of the characters. It was setting up to lose a ton of them there. Yeah. And they would have had to retreat. And Jon Snow, and I don't know who else, because, you know, I, I wouldn't have even, if Arya had died, okay. But I, 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 I would not have Jon shed Snow many tears. To, no, no, that. but I expected like, Jon Snow and, to go down to King's Landing and be like, the fucking coming, trust me, they are coming, and this is all we got left. And then that's that, where I that, expected the the proper ending to be. Yeah, yeah. The 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 White Walkers and the Night King and stuff should have kept going until the final episode. They should have been the big bad of the whole series. Instead, they're just like Agreed. pushed aside because it's like, yeah, we can't think what to do with them. Fuck the throne. Yeah. It's not important. Yeah. Yeah. Arya was a character that ran out of things to do like two seasons earlier, and yep. just. Yeah, it's like we we don't have the heart to kill her, so fucking, we we'll just have her do everything basically. Which is the exact same for uh, Tyrion, but he ran out of things to do four seasons ago. Yeah, yep. yeah, uh, yeah. He just man. became a mopey twat. Yeah. Well, he still he is. He just wanted the white people now. Dead, you know? Yeah, he just, yeah, just wanted the white people to go off into the sunset at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck thought there was ever going to be a happy fucking ending? No, nobody shows? wants a happy ending for all the characters. That's not what we were there for. <laughs> we were there fucking... for the... I was excited for Winterfell because I was just like, who is going to get wiped? Because I just thought the show, tons of them were. The show originally started to spread through word of mouth because how shocking it was that one of the best, most altruistic characters was killed at the end of season one. Just mm. your main, main character, classic hero, executed. It was just like, jeez. You should watch the show. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. But no, we wanted all the white people to walk off into the sunset. <laughs> I, uh, you know, when we were talking there about unexpected things, like the Red Wedding was a good example of stuff yeah. that, that, that kind of you don't see coming. Um, and then a, a bunch of characters that you really like, who are the classic heroes again. Um, yeah, just get killed in like just brutal fashion. I think for a lot of people, that was a defining moment for Game of Thrones. Like, holy shit, this show does not fuck around. Yep. Um, orchestrated was... by Chad Winter and Lannister. Well, that's, and that's what you want. You you want to always think like you want Jon Snow to win, but you want you always want to have in the back of your mind, but he could fucking lose because Ned Stark lost. Yeah. Because Rob lost. Because all of mm -hmm. these people lose along the way. Like maybe he does lose, and and they never, but they never do that either. They don't commit to him losing or winning, and it's like this is the least satisfying. Uh, jerk off I've ever had from a show. Come on, <laughs> get some, me there. Some people thought that um, at Winterfell there was a, a chance that Jon Snow was going to get turned. 
so so john would have been turned with the night king um but uh, no nothing he just screamed at dragons but like when he when he like had that moment with the um the 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 ice queen he was gay let's just be honest ice king was he was gay uh and he had that moment and they just split them up and it's just like what if you split them up then the zombies would have just piled all over him anyway and so it just it, none of that thing made any sense towards the uh towards the last few seasons unfortunately. that's the magic of hollywood everyone <laughs> yeah.